Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, 2017. The tarot card for today is the Ace of Wands. This one comes to us from Tabula Mundi. Now, you know, immediately, like when I looked at this picture, I, what came to mind, it's an old song from a, I want to say it's a German group called Snap, called I've Got the Power. Ah, it's just, that's exactly how I felt when I looked at this. Those words just popped into my head. And, you know, this is an amazing energy. We see the Ace of Wands fairly frequently, and it's a good thing. As the universe is always offering up some form of divine intervention, you know, absolute inspiration, creativity, uh, this is a wonderful thing, but to me, it always reminds me of, uh, you know, like when someone passes you the torch. You have to take that torch and you have to run with it. You can't just say, okay, you know, like the universe just doesn't plop things in your lap and your life is magically better. You need to actually physically work with them. So what do you wish to create in your life? You know, we just had the equinox. We're at the beginning of a new year, astrologically. And, you know, I have to ask you, what? What is it? Because that inspiration and that creativity are taking you somewhere. And we've talked about it. Equinox to equinox. You're, you're, by the time you get to the solstice in June, you're, you're going to be in a much different spot. And then I think by from June to September, you're watching, you know, as that dream starts to play out so this is a very very interesting time I think to be alive to be engaging in this story and to be working with this energy and understanding it and creating the life that you want this is so about new beginnings but it's also the creation and you play a major role in this while very often this particular card is one of those ones where you see the outstretched hand of the universe offering that torch. The question is, what are you going to do with it? Right? That's a big thing. It's really all, I want, I want, I don't want to say on your shoulders because it's definitely not a burden. You're being given the proper energy and creativity to do your creating. The question is what you're going to do with it. Let's all do it this way today. Like a little exercise, okay? You know what it is you need and want to accomplish. And I like diagrams and all those things, lists, whatever. So make a list. And, and I'll, I'll, re I'll relate it to making a cup of coffee. If you were having a party, what would you do? Me, I'd have regular coffee. I'd have decaf coffee. I'd have every type of sweetener that was available on the market, sugar, whatever, milk, creamer, flavored creamers. I would want to know all of the components that anyone who might possibly be there would want in their coffee. And that's the way that I would make a list for anything in my life. So if I wanted to accomplish something I would be writing down everything that was necessary, every step that was necessary in order to do that. So if you're starting now, and this is taking you to, let's say, that period from like May 22nd to June the 20th, where you're like, okay, I've gotten this much done on the list. Now I can proceed with my dream because I did all of that. Am I making sense? Because I am to me, all right? And then it takes you and it just grows over that June to September time frame. But you have to get there first. And this is right where it begins, is you taking this energy and being divinely inspired to create this life. So the power has been bestowed upon you and you need to keep that torch lit to light your way, to help you create, and to take you to 
that other equinox. Because somewhere in there, there's a dream come true. I want to thank you all very much for listening. And I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.